I'm just reading good, these things for good. flavor. Good, good. That's a good thing to report immediately. Yeah. A massive security breach. Were we included in that? Maybe. Hmm. Um, we're actually gonna go see our friends, the space pirates, in their their ice base again. Oh, nice. I thought you were gonna say. Sh uh, I thought you were gonna say Ship Chan. We haven't seen Ship Ship, ship Chan today. Oh so my god. We haven't god, seen I'm, Sips Chan. I'm having such a hard time with that word today. It's your word. Well, it, it's a Japan word, but okay. You know what I mean. <laughs> Why did that guy go flying that I direction? I don't know, he just launched himself into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, FP's dying, I killed him. Help. <laughs> the worst part is when I'm coughing too much, it like makes my whole body really hot. Ugh. <laughs> But yeah, that guy just sort of decided, like, right, right, mm. fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> All right. I'm not, I'm not dealing with this lady right now. Alright, I'm good. Her dress is too fabulous for me. So what needs to happen this session is I need to stop making you laugh. <laughs> that's, too, that's gonna be really difficult. <laughs> gonna be too difficult. Well, I'm sorry I'm so hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure you'll live somehow. Maybe. This is actually like my my last will and testament in video form. I mean I can think of worse ways to go. Yeah? This is, yeah, this is a pretty good game. I mean, you could have been playing going, Bubsy going or something. Like, going like those guys would have been pretty bad. Or that guy that launched himself into the ocean, or wherever it was he was going. Yeah, I don't know. He's like, I see the ocean through the wall. I must be there. His home planet needed him. He's actually on call right now, but his shift just ended, and he was like, right, I'm out, bye, I'm going home. <laughs> he just clocked out. Yep. Much, much like the commentary at the moment. <laughs> we, we are only interested in providing you a high quality, informative experience. While there is new stuff to show off. Every other time. Who cares? Every other time, it's tardigrades. So we, uh. <laughs> does this look familiar? It does. Isn't this where um, we got some lore? A little bit, I think but more importantly, more, yeah. uh, we got some, uh, that one's still, oh no, it's this one up here still shooting me. This is where we got our thermal visor. Oh, yes, yes, it's the bit with the lens flare, isn't it? No. It's oh. just, uh, this is the bit where we learned how to see things in the dark. Um, but yeah, so there's actually a shortcut connecting between, uh, that sort oh, of that's, part right there. That's a that really shortcut, shortcut. Yeah, that shortcut will be very useful in sequence breaking. Hey, it's a map ride. It is. Ice beam is actually really ineffective against the uh, the turrets. It does freeze them, but it like doesn't damage them at all. Hmm. So you still have to shoot like the same number of missiles you would have to shoot otherwise. I mean, you can use it to just make them stop firing at you. That, yeah, you can use it to works. give yourself a couple of seconds. But yeah, it's, it's not very useful otherwise on the turrets. And I think they might eventually break out. Apparently not, though. Rude! I don't okay, know who that was, was more pretty rude. good. Me or, uh, or him? Yeah, he just like burst out with the glass and came up in front of you, and someone was like, "Nope, just freeze it and explode it." The doors have been unlocked, FP. Thanks. I'm helping. Oh yeah, these guys again. I just saw that guy just like run behind a pipe. 
they're invisible, which means they're really sneaky. And we can't see them at all. Shh, this is a sneaking mission. They will be truly invisible once they are calcinated. <laughs> Samus is the true war criminal. <laughs> she she really kind of is. I mean, not as much of a war criminal as like Donkey Kong. But... <laughs> yeah, I went there. Or like, I don't know. We commit a lot of animal-based crimes when we play Shark Attack. <laughs> Like, most of those sharks are critically endangered and we're just stabbing them. We're also stabbing each other, so everything has gone to hell. Yeah. Like, what context Shark is there for, like, eight divers just getting together to stab each other? I don't understand. Shark hell dystopia. I, I don't understand the deep and rich lore behind Shark Attack Deathmatch 2. <laughs> By the way, Shark Attack Deathmatch 2 is a real good game, guys. It is, actually. It sounds... Silly, but no, it's actually no. A it really is silly. Solid, that's uh, the thing. Well, yes, but no. Like it sounds bad, silly, but no, it's actually legitimately pretty good. Yeah, I'm. I'm so glad I. I took a chance and just bought a four pack, because like I thought, okay, I'm gonna buy this for like me and three of my friends, and if it's bad, we can make fun of it together. But if it's really good, I now have three friends that I can play this good game with. Yeah, and it turned out to be good game. It's really good, and FP is inexplicably like. I don't know why I'm so good at, at it. Actually, um, somebody else was better at it. Remy's really good at being a shark. Yeah. All right. So we're also we're in another artifact room. Okay. Invaders have claimed Fendran is their own. A tower sits on top of their fortress. Collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of Elder is held. Okay. So right and now we're in here, the control right? tower. Yeah, we're in the control tower. So we, we need, need to collapse, collapse a tower. One. So we need to find a, a bit that's weak, basically. Yes. Time to use our rocket boots or whatever. Well, it melted with before I could point it out, but there was actually ice covering this earlier. So you need plasma beam. Oh. Aha! There's a large fuel cell here. Oh, so we blow things up. The, the missile weak casing seems to be unstable. Yeah. I don't think that's how things explode. They definitely don't vibrate before they fall over. Thank you, Vignette. <laughs> So now there's a hole here, and we can pop on down and through, and there yeah. it is. And that puts us at eight. Dang. I mean, I suppose this is going so quickly because you already know where they all are. Yeah. Otherwise, this portion of the game could take, a, you know, a few hours or whatever. But as uh, as mentioned, like with the uh, with the clues that are given, it's not too bad. You just first time you're playing, you may need to return to uh, the artifact temple a couple times to, yeah, to get more hint. more hints. Yeah. Yeah, the hints aren't actually bad. No. They could be a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, all you have to do is just cross reference the hints that you get with the uh, like just reference them with the uh, the world map and all the room names. Yeah. That same principle holds true for the second game as well. But it's it's the second game just has some more a few more problems with it. Mostly the fact that you can't get a vast majority of the final MacGuffins until like the point we are at at in this game, but in that Yeah. Game. Also, I've just realized this is the second session in a row where I've recommended a game to people. Phase hot game picks. It's true though, Shark Attack's really good. It is. I don't know if that guy exploded or burned up. It was yes. Like, it was, yeah. 
maybe one than the other. But no, the developers really like how much we stream that game. <laughs> They keep like retweeting you or something like that. Yeah, they do. Well, it's publicity. It sure is. The best publicity money doesn't buy. Yeah, like seriously though, I've sold so many copies of that game, they should really start paying me commission. <laughs> We visited our space pirate buddies. Time to leave, though. Yeah, party's over. Yep. The space cops came and broke it up. What's that guy he doing hanging upside down, by the way? He's hanging on the ceiling. Okay. Uh, let's Why? see. I think I'm gonna have some fun here. Get so over disappointing, here. FB. Like, well, even the visual effect isn't all that impressive. I know. It's especially not as not impressive compared to the Ghostbuster gun. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like a Photoshop brush. Never been so disappointed by the words flamethrower. It feels like betrayal. Yeah, this game Whereas you me. have, like... Like the ice one, which at least looks kind of neat, especially if it actually back. impacts the, uh, whoa, I don't know what the hell happened there, but it happened. Yeah, sure, why not? What is wrong with the game today? It's just like showing you stuff that you've never seen before and like doing things that have never happened before. Yeah, well. I mean, it does happen to every guy at least once, so there's no reason to be ashamed, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gotta funny, go. damn it. <laughs> We're just, at this point, still working our way out of the, of the drifts. We've gotten most of the stuff on this half. Uh, actually, I think we've gotten everything on this half. I still think those um, blue things look like Morpha. Little oh the uh, the electrical guy. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Like Morpho with three um, not cores, nuclei or whatever they're called. I'm not a biologist. Me neither. But I'm but pretty I sure I one failed on biology in school. So a long while ago, I showed you a thing down here. Oh yeah, the spikes. Yeah, yeah. And I was like really concerned over how we were going to get to it. Yeah, that's just a power bomb. But at oh. the time, we didn't know what they were. And oh yeah, because it was the thing that I thought looked like a koosh ball. <laughs> also, remember the Mama Shigoth? They kind of yeah. become regular enemies here. They're a little smaller, but uh, they are still considered like the same enemy. However, Plasma Beam kind of trivializes them. Remember yep. how long that fight was? Yep. Remember just now how not long that fight was? I do remember something that literally just happened. <laughs> My attention span isn't quite that short. I'm working on it though. <laughs> I'm working on shortening my attention span. I don't think there's a possible way to make my attention span any shorter, to be honest. Alright, uh, next we need to go off this way. Look, bye. Bye. <laughs> he also went to space. <laughs> Thankfully we we're in space, so it wasn't that hard. I have to go now. Space needs me. I need it's to these, go these fight... These cute guys again. I need to go fight crime in this city that's infested by leeches and rats. Yeah, I'm referencing that. <laughs> yeah, those things die fast now. Yeah, they do. 
It's always really satisfying in a game though, like when you meet a boss that's now a regular enemy and you can just wipe the floor with it. Oh yeah. So we get that, and one more item in here. It's very, very nice and satisfying, and it just makes you... It, it, it's a really it's a really cheap game design trick, but also a really effective one to make you feel so much more powerful. Yeah. Dark Souls does it really well. Yeah, it does. Since all the progression in that game is mostly uh, item-based, it just means that as your items get stronger, you can beat up uh, strong, or stronger guys. Yeah, like more um, often. when you Black first Knights. go into the undead church, there's that, you know, there's that wizard man, like oh, up yeah. on the balcony, and like he's like a mini boss on his own. And then later on, when you get to the, um, uh, when you get to the Duke's archives, they're regular enemies. But by then, like you, you're more powerful. Yeah, so you you're have, a lot you more have powerful. Ways to deal with them. Or I was gonna say, like, even, like, just the Black Knight enemies. Yeah, like, by by the time you get to the end of the game, they're, like, just sitting around. Yeah. I could never beat the Black Knights. I'm not very good at Dark Souls. I'm not very <laughs> good at video games. I still play them, though. I don't know why right. people watch me do that, but... I think we got this yet. Ooh. It's a box on legs. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a door. It's box a door, on legs, yes. door. <laughs> I mean, a door is just a box on a hinge. Technically true because it is a rectangle. And yeah. Rectangles are boxes. Yeah, see? I know about. <laughs> Uh, engineering. I know about shapes. I did a geometry unit. And I know shapes. <laughs> I know. A, Man, it I was know... so disappointing because as a kid in math, it's like geometry is kind of cool because it's like shapes and and area and volume and stuff like that. And those are not too difficult. Those are those are like really easy to figure out. And then you get to geometry in in like high school, and it's like. We're gonna learn about trig and triangles, and it's like, kill me now, God. I mean, do you remember that math game that everybody, that like, we made everybody play that was basically just my trigonometry homework, the video game? <laughs> it was actually a real good game. Actually, but I haven't it, like, played it yet, but yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it built itself as a puzzle game. It's like, no, this isn't a puzzle game, this is literally just your maths homework. Like, near you are making people... Go ahead. Near, near Fendrana's shores, the temple stands. Thaw the frozen waters flowing from the Elder to find the Artifact of Sun. We were here a long time ago, and we commented we on this guy and his frozen hands. We did. But yeah, somebody, like... Somebody made a game that is just their trigonometry homework. And not only did they make this game, but they put it on Steam and people have paid to own it. And, like, people have paid money for the privilege of doing this guy's trigonometry homework. <laughs> the second game I've recommended. I'm gonna make my own recommendation. You okay. should play this game, or people should play this game. It's a good I, game. I shouldn't play this game. I would be Yeah, that's why I, that's why I amended my statement. You the general you should play this game because it's real good. Or you can just watch us do it and talk about video games that aren't this one. And make references to dumb streams that we did. Yeah, in a way we're kind of at the uh, the downswing of the game or like, just because there's nothing really new to go over. <laughs> Yeah. Because this is all stuff we've been through. Yeah, there's not much new to say, so I'm just gonna... Well, I'm not sure about FP, but I'm just gonna talk about whatever the first thing that comes to mind is. I just generally try and respond in turn. Yeah, that's pretty much how most of my conversations go. Yeah. Says a thing, say something back. 
I mean, that, that's how human conversation works anyway, but I mean, specifically with me, I just sort of say things at people, not necessarily to them. 